You know that keyboard shortcuts can drastically improve your productivity while coding. Plus, they help you not look like a total noob when somebody else is watching you code. But IntelliJ supports hundreds of keyboard shortcuts. In this video, I'll show you the absolute best way I know of to quickly and effortlessly memorize the keyboard shortcuts for everything you do in IntelliJ, even the ones you never even knew existed. I also have a full Java course available in a link down in the description. There you'll find over eight hours of exclusive video lessons covering dozens of Java topics. So if you haven't already, go and check it out. When you think about memorizing keyboard shortcuts, you probably think you have to look up some shortcut cheat sheet online, print it out and hang it above your monitor so you always have it handy, or maybe have a friend quiz you on them and give you an electric shock every time you get one wrong. That can certainly work, and it's how we had to do it back in the olden days. These days, there's a much better way, and it's a free IntelliJ plugin called Key Promoter X. So how exactly does it work? What does it do for you? It's your personal automated shortcut coach. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say you wanted to rename this names variable, but you didn't know what the shortcut was for it, or maybe you didn't even know that there was a shortcut for that. So you try and figure out how to do that without a shortcut, and you end up, you know, right-clicking, and then going down to refactor, and then up here to rename. But when you do that, suddenly, out pops the magic of Key Promoter X. So what the plugin did is it presented us with this little notification. And what it's saying is, hey, dude, I noticed that you just renamed a variable by using the mouse and right-clicking and navigating through a bunch of menus like a caveman. You should know there's a shortcut for that and it's Shift F6. Now, of course, you're not gonna memorize everything after just one prompt, so it will continue to prompt you every time you perform some action manually that has a shortcut available that you can use. So if I try and do this again, you know, I right click, go to refactor and rename, and it pops up the same thing. You know, it says there's a shortcut for that, it's Shift F6, and you've now missed it two times. It's kind of like a helpful and somewhat judgmental senior programmer sitting right next to you all the time. And Key Promoter X does this with just about everything. So let's say you run your program by clicking this play button here. It says, hey, there's a shortcut for that, it's Shift F10, or Control Shift F10 if you're on an older IntelliJ version. Anything you do at all that has a shortcut available, it will tell you about. Even something as simple as clicking on the project menu. Now that particular shortcut to me is a bit silly. I love shortcuts as much as the next guy, but for this, just opening up the project menu, I'm just gonna click the project button. But luckily, what you can do if there's a particular shortcut that it tells you about that you just don't care about, so let's say I click project again, it's gonna pop up the same thing. I can just say, suppress alerts for this shortcut and it will never bother me about that shortcut ever again. So in that case, it's a little better than a senior programmer sitting next to you watching your every move, because they would never stop bugging you about it. Anyway, after you've been coding for a while, you can open up the plugin menu by clicking here, and it will list all the shortcuts that you missed, ordered by the ones that you've missed the most often at the top. So you can quickly see which ones will gain you the most productivity so you can focus your energy on learning those first. It'll also show you all the shortcut tips that you suppressed in case you change your mind later. So if you want to take any suggestions off of your suppressed list, just double click them. And if you want to suppress any of the suggestions in the list here, just double click them as well. You can hit reset statistics here if you want to clear all of these for some reason. You can also snooze the shortcut notifications by just checking this box. So, you know, maybe you have to present your code to someone else and you don't want the pop-ups embarrassing you about your lack of shortcut knowledge in front of your colleagues. Or maybe you just need a little break from the judgy shortcut coach. Either way, just remember to uncheck this box to re-enable the notifications once you're ready to get back into it. Now, if you don't know how to install plugins, it's super easy. You just go up to File and Settings, or yes, you can press Control-Alt-S, and then click on Plugins. Be sure to have the Marketplace tab selected so you can search for any plugins you don't have installed, and then go ahead and search for Key Promoter X. And if you don't have it installed yet, there will be a green Install button here. Then once it's installed, click Restart to reopen IntelliJ with your brand new plugin up and operational. It's a dead simple plugin that's free, easy to install, easy to use, and makes it basically effortless to learn every single shortcut that you care about in IntelliJ. As always, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, please let me know by leaving a like. And also let me know in the comments if there's some other plugin that you really like for IntelliJ, whether it's really popular or, you know, one of the lesser known plugins out there. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.